Hi everyone, uh, back again uh, with another AOE2 coaching video. Um, I'm going to call the red player this time. Uh, since we have a freight sword, it doesn't really make sense for me to, uh, to you know, really care about too much about who I'm choosing here. Um, I'll call the red player, because uh, why not? Um, we have a freight sword, like I said. Um, the, thing about, the thing about a mirror matchup is you want to get to the to the civilization's power unit as soon as possible, right? So for a Frank Sword be Knights and Castellage, Knights and Castellage being the strongest, or arguably the strongest for for the Franks. Um, for example, an, another example would be for Mongols, you the whoever gets to Mangadai the quickest and it gets up to the Imperial Age the quickest, uh, it's generally gonna be the winner of a, a Mangadai War or a Mongols War. So yeah, uh, basically, Hi. so uh, like I said, the idea is to get to knights as quickly as possible, um, and in order to do that, we have to be as efficient as possible. So we've had a, a, a little bit of issues here with killing sheep too early. Um, we found all of our sheep here. Okay, yeah. Yep, the red player. Um, I'll turn the hardware back on. A um, little bit of efficiency from our scout here. Um, actually, we also have this bill. Uh, berries. Uh, exposed bill. Uh, Woodliner berries. Never really ideal, um, especially when when we know there's a very, very solid chance that scouts are going to be out on the map. Um, like, for example, if we were playing against Franks. However, we did see the blue player is on gold. And since the blue player is on gold, we now know that the blue player is probably going for men at arms. So what we should do is we should take our scout, we should scout here, 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 all along here, just to see where the barracks is and see if we can track the men at arms coming across the field. Um, and if there is no barracks and there is no men at arms, then we know that the blue player is going for archers. So when we figure that, uh, we can cross that bridge when we get there. Um, but first, let's figure out if men at arms are coming across, um, so we can you know, wall up and uh, play a little bit of defense. Um, as far as anchor management goes, I think we put too much on wood. Um, I don't think we need this, this many villagers. We don't need ten builds on wood. We could probably get away with like. So, uh, especially since we get the farm upgrade for free. Uh, that being said, I'd really like to see a little bit more activity from the scout. Like, uh, like I said earlier, look for the barracks. And now, since we don't see men at arms yet, we could start suspecting that it's going to be archers. So we can just go and confirm that real quick. example, as the uh, red player has this villager kind of really exposed, uh, we can go look for exposed bills on blue's wood line or blue's berries, and berries are right here. So we see that none of those are exposed, but we didn't really get a good look at all of the berries. Uh, so we can go see if we can put the stack one off real quick, uh, just, to, just to see what's up there. Scouts, I think that's really interesting. Um, I think against uh, higher level players, stopping at three scouts is going to be very much an issue because they will have a lot of archers and a lot of spearmen, and Kay. you won't be able to do much with only four, I guess, four hey. scouts because we have our starting scouts. Um, you find it interesting for the blue player, the blue player made a lot of spears. Usually it's one spear per enemy scout, or per three enemy scouts, so we blue players spend a little bit extra on the uh, 
Trey. On this year production. But that's it's not a big deal. That's only what? 60 amps for two minutes. Um, so we did see the range, we did see the archers here. Um, so really good for Brad to Keep immediately drop tight. a range. Um, I don't think we necessarily need to go to gold yet. I think there's still pressure we can do, especially over here on the berries if we can produce some scouts. I also don't like how we stopped from our production. I think if we can get to 16, 17 farmers, plus what we got over here on berries, and then we start going to gold, I think that'll be a lot, lot easier for us to, one, do damage now, and two, be ready to do damage in cast leagues, because if we get to 16, 17, 18 farmers, 19 farmers, we'll be able to afford all the upgrades we need, as well as, uh, so we have, Bills from the PC will have, uh, you will have one by You will need husbandry and so on. You will need uh, two armors and potentially an attack from the blacksmith. So, and also a few more scouts could ideally, you know, make this army a little bit more manageable to deal with. Um, we can use our skirms to maybe migrate out spears or whatever. Okay, so another thing. We have spent the last uh, three or so minutes idling our town center trying to save for Castle Age, which isn't. I don't hate it, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. However, we've also been spending a whole bunch of food creating skirmishers as well. So we're basically del we're delaying our castle time by making the skirms work while trying to enhance our castle time by not producing villagers. And I think you can't have it both ways. I think you have to, if you're going, to, going heavier into feudal age, you have to keep making villagers and keep idling. Uh, I also don't really like how we only have 13 on food. I think it's going to be very difficult to afford upgrades uh, in castle age, as well as maintain that. Normally, a good, a good click up time for Castle Age would be like 35, somewhere between 35 and 40 villagers uh, if you're going to scout something nice. Um, obviously, it depends, but uh, that's, that's a pretty good guesstimate. So yeah, this is kind of, kind of what I talked about earlier, um, in, in two ways. One, we're getting tanks out first, it's really good for the red player. Uh, however, if he was against it, if Blue was also going for knights, uh, we would be in a lot of trouble because uh, we cannot buy the plus two upgrade because we have had so little on food all throughout the, um, all throughout the time that we are asking. And I think, uh, that's largely side of just going to get so few of them. Uh, we 
are going to get something up here. And now we can start pushing across the map. And actually, ooh, that's actually the game. Okay. So, I would like to see a little bit of a miss micro, miss, uh, miss macro from the blue player. Can you go a little bit of a snafu here. Um, hey, he does good really thing. Good Can on you? Or on gold. Uh, but anyway, really good, really good player uh, from the red player. Um, yeah, uh, really good job of focusing on getting knights out quickly. That's how you're going to win this game. That's your winning position is to get knights out faster than your opponent. Um, however, I think he could have done it much faster and in a much, uh, in a better way by not, uh, I don't think we need idle farms. I think we need bills on all the farms. We don't necessarily need 22 right now, but... Uh, 18, 19, 20 uh, is a perfect amount, um, especially if we are going to add a second or third town center. So, uh, all in all, uh, good games, good game. Um, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.